Hello, this is Ian from Piston Key Studios. This is a quick tutorial on how to use Adobe After Effects as a file converter. You can convert almost any file type to almost any file type, but in this demonstration, we will be converting an AVC HD codec into a QuickTime file. So let's get started. I have uh, After Effects here opened up, uh, nothing in it. So let's double click on the project window and select a file. This is a bunch of nature footage from uh, with an AVC HD codec. So let's double click on this one. And since this was uh, not a preset composition, by clicking on that and dropping it into here, or actually you can drop it into here, it automatically sets the composition to the clip length. So we have 2 minutes and 46 seconds on this composition. It's a 1920 by 1080. Um, and let's just shorten that up. Drag this yellow bar here. We can do this two ways. We can just drag this in, the yellow bars. And when we go to the render queue, um, this is the only thing that will render. But let's right click on that gray bar, trim comp to work area, and now the composition setting, uh, composition length is now 32 seconds, which is okay. And while we're here, let's do a quick color correction. So let's go to color correction, brightness, contrast, nothing special. Draw the brightness a little bit bring up the contrast a little bit and that should be fun and we'll go back to our project window and now let's just render this out and convert the file again this was an AVCHD clip uh, add to render queue let's click on lossless AVI um, now's the time where you can turn this into any format you would like but again we're gonna go to the QuickTime format but you can do anything at this point point. and format options we're gonna do H.264 quality on full press OK um, let's click on the audio output so we can hear the water um, if you wanted to resize this at this point now's the time to do it our composition is at 1920 by 1080, but if th this you want to do a 720 or something smaller, now is the time to do it. But we're not going to. Just want to show you that. Um, then press OK. So all we have to do now is output two, and let's create a file name. Water all we got to do and then just press render and that will render it out to your selected folder and you're good to go okay again this is Ian from Piston Key Studios I hope you found this tutorial helpful and see you soon